Hi guys, um, just going to do a quick video now of uh, this new Apple TV. This is a 2012 model I got yesterday in the post. Boarded it about two weeks ago and it's finally arrived, so I've been, uh, been very excited to get it open. Done an unboxing video, which is on my channel. Um, this is my first Apple TV, so I'm kind of getting used to it. But in this video, I'm going to show you the basics, what it can do, you know, why you should get one basically, because they are they are very very handy. I used to, for example, on my Mac, I've got lots of TV shows, movies, music, obviously photos, and whenever I wanted to show anyone, I've always had to go around the back of the TV, find a HDMI cable or get a spare VGA cable from a room, plug it into the back of the TV, plug it into a converter, plug it into my Mac, and then you get kind of a half resolution, slanted, not set up properly, you know, um, duplicate of your of your Mac screen on TV, and it's never very good. And then you have to get an audio cable for the the sound to come through to your TV from your Mac speaker, as it's such a fassle, uh, hassle, a hassle, a hassle. So obviously, this is just makes it so much easier. It's connected via Wi-Fi to your home network. You can connect to any Mac. Uh, iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, and you can just stream whatever you want to it. So much easier. Okay, guys. So this is uh, Apple TV, and this down here on top of our Skybox is the Apple TV itself. I'm, I apologise for any glare reflections that are bad because I've got a flash on because it's quite dark in the room, uh, and obviously the black on black it's quite hard to distinguish without flash. But this is this is it. I mean, I'll, I'll show you the size of a skybox, and I guess the majority of you know how big a skybox is. It's, it's kind of the, the normal size that you, you expect to see under a TV. And then, you know, the size of the Apple TV is quite considerably, obviously, a lot smaller. And all you need at the back of it, essentially, is the power cable, and then uh, we've got the HDMI as well. You can have, obviously, optical audio, uh, and also uh, a LAN cable if, if you so desire, but we have it connected to Wi-Fi. Which is, is quite suitable because the, uh, the router is only in the other room, so we get quite good connection. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd show you the box, just to show you how, literally how small it is and how unobtrusive it is compared to other boxes. Literally two wires that come out the back, you can see there, and they, uh, and they disappear. So it's very nice. Got a nice matte finish on the top here. It's not completely matte, it has got a little gloss feel to it, but it is, it is matte, and you've got the, the high the high res glossy Apple TV logo in the middle. I do apologize for the bad quality, the light is poor in here. The one simple, if I can get it, there you go, LED white light on the front, which I think shines red if there's something wrong with it, but obviously it's not going to, because it's all working. Um, yes, and that's pretty much it. So I'll, I'll pop you back on the tripod now, and I'll take you through the menus. Um, so I'll, I'll go through it with you now, through the basics. You, basically, you use this remote, which comes with it, to control it. This is a nice, sleek remote made from uh, aluminium. I was about to say aluminium then, but I realised I'm not American. So yeah, there's the IR sensor. You've got the battery compartment on the back. It's very nice. Designed by Apple in California. I do apologise that it's not focusing properly. It's a very guff camera. My other one has gone AWOL and the battery's given up. Um, so you've got the f they've got the basic controls here. You've got a menu button here which takes you back, 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 back until you can get no more back, as you can see there. makes a nice popping sound when you, when you hit a key. You've got play pause there and then you've got this just like the iPod uh, uh, iPod Classic or the old iPod Nano um, but obviously it's not touch, you've got volume up, vo sorry volume up, volume down backwards, forwards and select and that's it, that is it for remote nice and simple. So this you can see here is the uh, the home screen and you can see along the, not the top where the movies are but along the the middle here, these are the start of your main tabs. For example, I'm hovered over movies, which is there, hence the movie titles and pictures here. So if I moved right to TV shows, some TV shows pop up, right to music, iTunes match. This is basically to access your music library um, in iTunes or using iTunes from computer, which I haven't set up yet, hence you don't see any album artwork. Uh, if we go right again, that's your computer. That's my computer. That's my Mac. So they are some of uh, my music. Embarrassing, I, embarrassingly, is Floor Fillers away and Sugar Babes has come up. <laughs> Let's just concentrate on the fact that Michael Jackson and Paul Weller are there. Anyway, um, so that is my Mac. 
settings, YouTube, WSJ, I'm not too sure that is. I'm possibly thinking at some kind of American channel. Any American viewers, please, or English viewers, please let me know. I, I don't know what that is. Trailers is quite obvious. Um, MLB, that's baseball, I think. Again, I'm not American, so I wouldn't know. Um, Netflix, Vimeo, obviously podcast, radio, photo stream to uh, stream your photos from your Mac, your iPod, iPad, iPhone, whatever. And Flickr. So let's go to the beginning, let's go into movies. So it's just accessing. I do apologise about the um, focus. There we go. It's focusing a little bit. Actually, let me just turn the light off. I won't be a second. Okay, guys. So the light, turning the light off has helped. It's focused much, much better now. Um, so we're in movies now. And the first tab at the top there is top movies. And that's obviously, as it says, just like iTunes, all the top movies that people have been buying, been renting, been downloading, all here. So you can scroll down, the one in black. Dangerous Methods, Safe House, which I really, really want to see. Ghost Rider, Wanderlust. They're all here. You can click on them. For example, if I go to Safe House, click on that. It, it, the reason it's, it's taken a while to access is because it's over Wi-Fi. We, I'm going to get it over Ethernet cable. But I haven't got a spare Ethernet cable at the moment. So on here, you can go Preview, which I'm actually going to because at the moment I am uploading a video to YouTube on my Mac. And because I live in England and we've got rubbish internet connection, I only have a 3 meg connection. So that's not going to work, and uploading my YouTube video is sucking all of my internet, so I do apologise for that. But you can preview the trailer, you can rent it, you can add it to your wish list, you can do more. Then here you can search by actors, search by directors, producer, screenwriter, for example. Lots and lots and lots, you get a bit of a blurb, some details. So that's all there, if I go back, obviously you've got all your films here, different genres, drama, comedy, kids and family, catalogue titles, new releases... Etc. If you go to Genius, this is for for most of you who are familiar with iTunes. Genius will um, create a list of movies it thinks that you should download or buy based on the movies you already own or have rented or have bought in the past. Um, so I'm guessing that's accessing my Mac now because it will want to see the movies I already own. But that may take a while, obviously, because I have. Uh, okay, I think I need to buy something to get it to set up. So there's that. Genres is exactly what it says. You can browse by genre of movie, action, adventure, classics, comedies, documentaries, drama. You know what that means. Search, you can search for a movie title, director, whatever. Trailers, you can watch trailers. Just access the store for you. Sorry about this, guys. Like I said, uploading a video to YouTube on a 3 meg connection does use the whole 3 meg. Um, so this is it, just added, top movies in the theatres, opening soon, these are all the trailers, popular movie trailers, top reviews from Rotten Tomatoes. The reason the, they are taking forever to load again is because my internet connection is ridiculously slow. So that's it for movies. If I go back and go to TV shows, it's pretty much the same for TV shows, except the first tab at the top there is Purchased. Obviously that will show you a list of all your purchased TV programmes, so if I go into Mine... Once they've loaded, which they are taking a while, there you go, Top Gear, 12 Days of Christmas, that's the free iTunes app at Christmas time, Lost, In Between Us, Gavin and Stacey, Darren Brown, and Phone Jacker, they're just some of the TV shows I've bought. So obviously you can browse by genre there as well. Go to Top TV Shows, once it's accessed. There we go, you can go via, when it loads, documentaries, these are all the different genres I think at the top there, then you get top TV programs here, uh, top TV episodes, latest TV episodes, free episodes, new and noteworthy, comedy series under £10, so it's pretty much just like iTunes, anyone knows that knows iTunes, used iTunes, it's so much, you know, it's, it's so similar, it's so easy to use this. Again, I know I've apologised before, but I do apologise for my internet connection. That is the reason none of these titles or pictures are loading. is because it's all been used by my YouTube video, which is uploading. Genius is obviously will base TV shows it thinks you should download on TV shows you've already bought. For example, I've just shown you I've bought loads of Top Gear. Based on Top Gear, Come Fly With Me, Homeland, Downton Abbey, Frozen Planet, The Walking Dead, which I love 
I absolutely love The Walking Dead. Series 3 is coming out in October, I believe. I cannot wait. Got Series 1 on DVD, uh, and I'm waiting for Series 2 to come out on DVD in August. So I absolutely adore that show. It is so good. Anyway, I digress. Um, <laughs> so yeah, based on Gavin Stacey, based on In Between Us, based on Darren Brown, you know what it means. Genres, obviously you can browse by genre of TV show. Networks, obviously a very American term. In England, that would be channels, TV channels. And these are all the different channels, as you can see. Discovery, Channel 4, BBC Earth, BBC, Baby TV, Animal Planet, Adult Swim. Adult Swim, don't know what that is. And then search, you can search for TV show, uh, actor, actresses, director. Pretty much the same. Music, that's iTunes Match. And if I go into this, once it's finished loading... I haven't actually set this up properly yet, so I'm not too sure what it will do when I come into this. Or even if it will come into this, because... Uh, there we go. Um, that is, uh, I know, this is to do with iCloud. I haven't got it set up with iCloud yet. Basically, if you sync your iTunes library with iCloud, it will come up here. Uh, which, obviously, I haven't paid for iCloud. I've only got 5 gig, the free 5 gig storage. And I've got a lot more than 5 gig in my iTunes library, so that won't work for me at the moment. Computers... This is my Mac. I've only got Mac. I, I, I think you can connect more than the one Mac to it. I'm hoping you can because there's. I don't want my Mac fully on here. I want other people's Macs. Like my dad, he wants to connect his up to here as well. So I'm hoping you can do that. But at the moment it's just mine. So obviously you got. That's my music on my Mac. That's my mo they're my movies. They're my TV shows. They're my podcasts. iTunes, you and photos. I haven't set up photos yet. But if I come into music, for example, if I go to playlists. Um, I don't know, recently played. You can then see all of the titles that I've recently played on my Mac. Love the new Maroon 5 album, brilliant. New Chris Brown song, absolutely fantastic. I'm not going to play them because I don't want my videos to get banned from YouTube. Um, yeah, then you've got um, Genius Playlists, Genius Mixes, Artists, Albums, Compilations, Songs, Genres, Composers and Audiobooks. So just like an iPod. Movies. These are all the movies that are on my Mac. So I've got some great films on here. Body of Lies, The Three Borns, Classroom. Absolutely love that film. Eagle Eye, The Hangover, Hurt Locker, The Kingdom. Brilliant film. Layer Cake, Miami Vice, Ocean's 13, Quarantine, Role Models, The Strangers. They're just a few of the ones I've got on my Mac. TV shows is exactly the same. These are just the TV shows I have on my Mac. It's getting pretty te tedious now. So I'm not going to go through it all. But you can see there, podcast, the podcast that I've got on my Mac, iTunes U, and photos. Settings, you've got the, 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 uh, the, the uh, I, can't, I can't even speak, I do apologise. You've got the, the general ones you always have on pretty much everything. General, I'm not going to bother reading them out, but you can see them all. You can change your, the, the audio and video settings, for example, different audio presets, screen settings, Airplay settings, computers, iTunes Store, and Screen Saver, for example, you have your photos up, you can change the settings. So that's all in there. Right, okay, so we've been through the top tab. We're now onto the middle tab here. You've got YouTube, which you come on, you can browse featured videos, most viewed, most recent, top rated history. You can log into your YouTube account as well. Just like the internet or the app for the iPhone. WSJ, I'm not too sure what this is. If anyone knows, please comment below. I'm not even going to bother going on it. It's some kind of channel. Trailers, when it loads eventually. But yeah, if you know what uh, WSJ is, please comment below because I have no idea what that is. And I'm not inclined to wait around to find out what it is because I'm really not bothered. Um, yeah, these are trailers. Again, I think this is it's an actual app, this trailer. So it might be a little bit different to the trailers when they're movies. I'm not too sure. MLB, which is baseball, I think. Please don't hate me if it's not. But I don't really follow American sports. But yeah, that's that. Netflix, obviously you can rent movies. Vimeo, watch some more movies. Podcasts. Obviously you can view and download podcasts. Strangely enough, I've just accessed podcasts and it's now saying it's accessing MLB. 
I don't understand why that is. Anyway, there's top po- podcast radio. You can get your internet radio on here as well. Just like iTunes. If you go into iTunes, you can go into internet radio as well. Listen to worldwide, worldwide radio stations. As you can see, all the different categories and different genres. So that's quite nice. Photo stream. There are all your photos from your Mac. You can view them as a nice big slideshow on your TV. And Flickr, which you can view lots of photos online. So that is pretty much it. Um, that's it for iTunes TV. It is very, very nice. A very nice, small, sleek box that sits on top of your TV. It's not intrusive at all. You, you can't even see it, apart from the one little LED light, which is very, 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 very nice indeed. Nice and easy navigation. Nice and easy to use. So much easier than just connecting your Mac up via a cable around the back of the TV. You can wirelessly push and wirelessly stream all of your content straight to your TV. It's very, very nice. So if you've got any questions about this, uh, this Apple TV or anything in general, leave them below and I will answer them. Um, and don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos. I've got some on my, my dad's new MacBook, the Retina Display. I've got some on uh, some unboxings of this Apple TV, the MacBook, and uh, a new time capsule I've got. And there are more videos about all three of them coming up in the future. Uh, it's just obviously with editing and my stupid 3 meg connection, it might be a, a week or so because it literally takes a day to load up a 1080p video onto YouTube. So I do apologise for that. But for now, take care and I will see you in another video.